It's that time again. Time to get a watch? No. It's morphin time. No. Hammer time? No! Micro Center time? Yes! That's right, I'm once again on my way to Micro Center in Tustin, California to shoot yet another fun video. This time around, I'm gonna be giving away a gaming PC to an unsuspecting customer in the store. But instead of giving it away to somebody at random, I'm gonna actually ask people on the floor what their system specs are. And the first person I find who has really lousy specs, or if they don't have a PC at all, that's who I'm gonna give the PC away to. Because in the past, when I've chosen a winner at random, oftentimes the person already has a pretty decent gaming PC, or they have one that's better than the one I'm giving them, that or they're not even really a gamer and they're just like oh I'm just gonna give this away to my uncle or something which is totally fair but this time around I just want to give the PC away to somebody who really really needs it that is what's on the agenda today but first things first before we can give away a computer we need a computer to give away good thing we're going to Micro Center Store, I need to find my main man, this guy, Mr. Jeremy. Oh, hey! How's it going, man? Going as well as I I'd hope. Yeah, good, awesome. Well, uh, you know, I'm I'm here. I'm shooting a video uh, with you guys today. I was wondering if uh, if you had, if I could, you know, borrow borrow Daddy's credit card uh, for, yeah, for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got... Again, you know. Again, yeah, I know. I keep coming back. I'm like a spoiled brat every time I come here. Don't spend it all in one place, all right? Oh, I definitely won't. You know me. Obviously, I'm going to spend all of this right now. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by LG's QNED Mini LED 90. LG QNED Mini LED utilizes mini LED backlighting and quantum dot nanocell color technology to deliver brilliant picture quality and rich black levels. Experience accurate color expression, ultra high contrast ratio, and incredible amounts of detail that brings images to life. Fall back in love with gaming on the big screen by enjoying the 120Hz refresh rate, low input lag, AMD FreeSync Premium, and multiple HDMI 2.1 ports for pure gaming bliss and lifelike gameplay. To top things off, slim bezels, a sleek body, and optimized wall mounting make the TV fit perfectly in your space while looking like a work of art. Once you experience the full power of mini-LED, you'll never look back to conventional LED TVs again. To learn more about the LG QNED Mini-LED 90, click on the link in the description. Every time I come here, I feel like the most spoiled brat ever. I feel like Jeremy's like my tech sugar daddy or something. <laughs> All right, first rule of order, CPU. Let's pick out something juicy. Let's see what they got. They've got no shortage of Intel CPUs. They also have plenty of AMD stock. And you know, I'm not exactly sure how much is on that gift card, but I feel like we'll, we'll worry about that later. Ooh, they do have the Ryzen 7 5800X3D Vermeer CPU, eight core, 16 threads for 450. I think that's pretty solid. And I actually haven't done a build with that chip yet. So let's go with this. Get that 3D Vcash money. Okay, I'm going straight to GPUs now. We got a lot of options here. They actually have pretty good stock. I see some RTX 3090 Ti's and they're, they're not, you know, they're not completely unreasonable prices compared to what we were just seeing a few months ago. However, a lot of the RTX 3090s and 90 Ti's are like black. And I, and I kind of want to go with like a more colorful theme today. So maybe something like this vision. It's not quite as fast, 3070 Ti, still a fantastic card, but I really like the aesthetic of that one. We also have some silver accents on uh, this particular 3080 RG Strix. Gaming Z Trio, that's more or less a black card. So I think, I think I'm gonna go with vision. I have a vision for this build. I might as well get a card that fits that. So in case you guys didn't know, this is what the vision looks like. It's kind of a white but mostly silver GPU and so I think I want a lot of silver accents in this build if we can find parts that actually accommodate that. I'm gonna look at memory next. I know usually I, I go straight to motherboard but we're, we're close to the memory right now. There is a lot of Corsair Vengeance memory here. They have a lot of white RAM sticks but nothing super silvery and then we get into the rip jobs. Oh this is the G skill area. Oh but this is DDR5 though. DDR5. That, those sticks would be perfect but uh, DDR5 is uh, not gonna work for this build so we're gonna have to go DDR4. They they do have the Neo sticks, which have that nice silver accent on the side there. I might do that if they have a decent kit available. Two by 16, I wanna max this out. Do they have any 32 gig kits that are four by eight? No, looks like they're all two by 16, but that's actually, you know, it, it won't look as cool, but it'll functionally be better because that means whoever wins this PC can easily upgrade it uh, to 64 gigs if they if they actually needed that much memory because there'll be two empty dim slots when all this is said and done. So if they, let's see if they unlocked it. Yes, they did. What speed is this? DDR4? 4,000, oh yeah, so 170 bucks there. But wait, here it says 360, is this a different kit? No, it's the same kit. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I have the black card, we're doing it. 
Next up is SSDs, nuts, got them. Okay, what do we got here? So we have 980 Pro. This is good because it's Gen 4, which our motherboard supports. 970 Evo Plus, still a great drive, but I believe that's Gen 3, if I'm not mistaken. We've got just a lot of, lot of Samsung drives here. Two and a half inch drives, me. I think 980 Pro, I think I got it right from the get go. I think one terabyte is plenty. Anything less than that these days in the gaming system is just not gonna cut it in my opinion, but one terabyte is definitely enough to get you started, as long as you don't install Warzone twice. Okay, we are finally in motherboard land. We got a lot of options here. We're on the AMD side, of course. They do have some pretty fancy boards like the ROG Strix X570e Gaming Wi-Fi 2, but it's a little bit overkill, I think, for this build. And it's not really silvery enough. I, I want I want silver. It might be, I feel like we might be hard pressed to find a silver motherboard because they're just not super common to begin with. Tough gaming, not really the look I'm going for. Also, it's B450, so no. Uh, we have an X570s Aorus Elite AX. What is this? I think this is just a typical black board. Okay, a little bit, maybe some slight silvery pieces on it, like here and there, but uh, that might be the best that we can do, honestly. What else have we got over here? We got some MSI motherboards, B B550, Unify X Max, X570S. This is a sweet board, but it's just completely blacked out. There's more silver on the Gigabyte board. I like how I'm just picking everything based on aesthetics. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm just gonna go with the, uh, the Gigabyte board. Elite AX. All right, what else do we need? Uh, power supply. Oh, look at that. We're, we're already in the power supply aisle. Perfect. I feel like 750 watts would be plenty for this build with the 3070 Ti and 5800 X3D, but I also want the recipient of this build to have some power headroom in case they upgrade parts down the line. So maybe an 850 watt unit would be a bit safer. We've got Asus, there's NZXT. We have main gear. I don't think I've ever used a main gear power supply. They seem to have a lot of them here, but me being a creature of habit, I generally stick to what I know. So, I'm gonna go with one of these. Okay, we have coolers here, but before I choose an AIO, because I, I know I wanna do liquid cooling, I think I wanna choose a case first. That way we know what kind of support we have for radiators. All right, I have scoured the cases high and low, looking for one that would actually match the aesthetic for this build. And I've settled on, not this, not the 5000D, but the 4000D, wherever it is. They have the 4000X, but I kinda wanna go with more airflow if possible, which, they do have right here for 125. I think this is gonna match really nicely because it does have some like silvery accents on it. I would say they're, they are kind of more gray, but our GPU does have quite a bit of white on it after I looked at it again. Like the fans themselves are white and we have vertical GPU mounting in there. I think with the vertical GPU mount, our temperature still might be okay because there's just a ton of air moving through that case. So, and I think it's just gonna look really nice with this card. We'll, we'll give it a shot. If it looks awful, we can always change it out later. Micro Center staff will hate me, but whatever. We'll just load this up. Okay, so obviously we have room for a 360 millimeter radiator if we want in that case, but it uh, looks like most of the coolers they have here are 240. Uh, the Galahad, I have my eye on this because it's got that, that silver that would just match perfectly. I feel like the few 360 coolers they have are like the Kraken X73, and they have the H170i uh, Elite Capellix from Corsair. Neither of those, I think, would match as well as the Galahad. Uh, and, and this is a really solid cooler, too. I, I've done some testing with this in the past. I've always been happy with the performance, even on the 240 Rad. Because of my confidence in the case that we're using in terms of its thermal performance, I think a 240 Rad on our 8-core Ryzen processor is going to be just fine. I thought I was done rounding up all my parts, but I almost forgot case fans. And I think this is really going to come in clutch because we actually have some pretty pretty good options that have silver accents on them, like the Lian Lee Uni fans, uh, both the, the AL120s in white. Okay, they got a little silver action going on in the middle, not as much as I hoped, but we also have the white Uni fans, which are much more silvery. I feel like the center sticker looks like it would match better, and the fact that it's got gray quarters, that'll pair really nicely with the 4000D. I also really love how easily these daisy chain together. I feel like it's gonna cut down my build time a lot. They have a lot of other options, but I'm not really seeing anything better for the system at hand, so. Here we go, three packs, boom and boom. Ooh, the last two, lucky me. Last but not least, cables. Cables, cables, cables. Can't use those nasty stock PSU cables. Oh no, no, they, I don't think they have silver. I don't see any silver cables here. So we're gonna have to go with white. That's the second best. And just like that, we have all our parts. It's time to build. Alright, the build is complete, looking pretty good. I'm very happy with all the parts that I selected. There's a lot of air moving through this case. Definitely a lot of air. Although, there was one change that I had to make. So I accidentally grabbed a black 4000D airflow initially, and turns out they don't have any white ones left. So I went with the 4000X instead. Still a fantastic case, still tons of airflow. 
it's looking good. Before we give this build away, one quick thing I want to say. So right now, new Micro Center customers actually get 25% off a purchase of any AMD or Intel CPU when they walk in store. It's a limit of one per customer, but pretty sweet deal that they have going on there. On top of that, if you submit your full PC build to their PC showcase online, you get an additional coupon at your next in-store purchase. So check it out. Definitely submit your builds there. I'll put a link in the description below. One last thing you should check out is Micro Center's custom PC builder. This lets you spec out the system of your dreams, and it'll show you exactly what parts are compatible, so it's really easy to use. You can find available stock at your nearest Micro Center, and you can even arrange same-day pickup or have a pro assemble the system for you for an extra fee. Although personally, I think it's more fun to build it yourself. Okay. The time has come. I've got the PC on this little rolling cart. I'm actually gonna stroll through the store with the PC. It's obviously gonna turn a lot of heads. And I'm just gonna ask random customers what their PC specs are. The second we find someone who has really minimal specs or no gaming PC at all, well, that's when I'm gonna give them this one. All right, here we go. I've got the camera on top of the PC. So you're seeing what the PC's seeing. It's exciting, I know. What's up, guys? Hey. How you doing? Hey. Say hi to the PC. Hey. What, do, what do you think? I just built it. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Check it out. Nice. You guys got gaming rigs at home? Yeah. What's your specs? 3070 with the 5600A. Oh, okay. That's almost as, that's pretty much almost as fast as this guy. What about you? Uh, no, I just got an Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> Xbox. You have an Xbox. Yeah. Why don't you have a gaming PC? Uh, I'm saving up for a truck right now. Saving for a truck. So once I get the truck, I'm going after one of Priorities, these. priorities. Yeah. I like it. What about you? Huh? It's like pretty low end. It's like an i4, any 400, and then I got a 1080. 1080's still kicking. Dude, that's a job, you know? I love it. Okay, so that guy who only had the Xbox, he's a candidate, right? He, he obviously wants a gaming PC, but he's saving up for a truck. Seems to be a very, very possible candidate. I'm gonna walk around a little bit longer just because they were the very first people we talked to, just to see if there's any other, any other possibilities here. But if he's still here five minutes from now, I might go to him. What's up, guys? I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I'm shooting a video with Micro Center right now. Just want to get your guys' opinion on the PC that I just built. Let me know what you think. Trash. Very clean. Uh, the white and then the little black inside. You guys got PCs? Yep. Yeah. What are your specs? Uh, I have a 3070. Uh, you have a 3070? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's similar to this one. This is like 3070 Ti, I think, so pretty close. I have a Ryzen uh, 9 5900X. Oh, nice. Ti. Oh, damn. And then, uh, I have a X570 uh, e gaming um, Asus board. Awesome. Yeah, and then it's all like black with a Lee and Lee uh, Razer um, case. Excellent choice. And a Lee and Lee, um, all of the uh, SL120 uh, uh, fans. Nice, nice. Did you guys build them yourself? Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, congrats. I watch, your, I watch your videos too. Oh, appreciate it, guys. Pre appreciate it. All right, well, thank you for the input. Thank you for sharing your specs. Have a good day. You too. Hey, how's it going? I'm a YouTuber. I'm making a video with Micro Center right now. You guys have your own builds? Yeah, we just finished building an enterprise server rack. Yeah, spent $4,400 on that. Woo! We got an Epic. Oh, Epic, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, and, uh, yes. We bought an RTX 8500, I believe. Are you doing any gaming on that as well, or uh, do you guys no, have your own separate like, systems for... Mostly, like, threading stuff, yeah. My personal system, I have a 3080 and, like, a, some i7 that I didn't want to buy, but had to. <laughs> yeah, I have a 5700 XT that I got, like, ages ago. I got to expla replace it because of the whole GPU market. Right, exactly, yeah. I know. So we, we bought ours when it was, like, particularly bad. Oh, man. Well, at least you got a card. A lot of people didn't even get one, yeah, so get lesser of two evils, I guess. All right, well, thanks for sharing your, your specs. Uh, one thing. Yes. I might want to get a, a stand for this so that it doesn't start sagging. Oh, yeah, the sag is horrible. And yeah. me pushing you around on this card all day does yeah. not help any. Yeah. But yeah, that's definitely in order. Cool build, man. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. It seems like a lot of people here have pretty decent systems. I think, I think that first guy, I think that first guy's our guy. I'm going to try to find him again. I hope he didn't leave. Excuse me. Yeah. I talked to you guys earlier, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. And then one of you was you had the Xbox. Who was the yeah. Xbox? Me. You were the Xbox yeah. looking for a gaming PC. Well, I hate to break it to you, but this is actually an undercover secret build video giveaway thing where I'm giving away the PC that you just looked at. The one that's right in front of me, right in front of you. No, no, no. To somebody who either has really lousy specs or no gaming PC at all. So this $2,400 Gaming system is now yours. What? No. Uh, yeah. No. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> this is 100% real. This is 100% real. Congrats. No way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a joke? No, it's not a joke. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not. I, I swear, dead ass. I'm dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> what the? I mean, unless you don't want it. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, you can give me a hug, bro. Let's go. <laughs> what the? Dude, yeah. <laughs> you just spent three grand on a PC? Man, you could have just answered one of my questions, honestly. No this guy's way more efficient. 
He had it right from the start. No way. Yeah, dude. This is yours. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm not joking. <laughs> this is real life. Yeah, bring it in again, bring it in. Over there, I thought you had just... I thought you had just bought this. Nope, this is all on Micro Center's dime. This PC had literally no owner up until one minute ago. <laughs> no way. What's your name, man? I'm Adrian. Adrian, that's right, nice, Kyle. Dude, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, man. I just came out of the bathroom. Yeah, dude. Okay, so when, when you first, when I first talked to you back there, uh -huh. and you told me that you had an Xbox and you, you you couldn't afford a gaming PC right now, I thought in my mind I was like, this is a candidate. I, I think I kind of want to give it to him because you had no gaming PC at all. No. And then I talked to like four or five other people, and they all had gaming PCs that were comparable to this one. So I was like, shit, I need to find that guy. I want to give the, the PC. I had already decided my mind, but I was looking like crazy all over the store for you, and I saw you go into the bathroom, right? <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm not gonna follow him in there. Wait. So I, I've literally just been standing standing out in front of the bathroom for like the last five minutes waiting for you to come out. I was like, did he die in there? Nope. I was waiting. There was a line. There was no line. I was like, I've never had to wait in a line. Only, only at Micro Center is there a line for the men's no. bathroom. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. What are, you, what are you gonna do with it? Oh, we're gonna we'll play. play. We're gonna play. Oh, I like that answer. I can already feel what the dust the collecting on your Xbox. Oh, <laughs> you should see mine. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, dude, this is yours. So uh, congratulations, man. Dude, dude, thank you again. Yeah, right, man. <laughs> Bro, the hands shaking. I'm not. The I'm hand not trying to, I, and I never get like I never. You can ask him. You can ask all my friends. I'm the calmest person ever. I don't stress. Yeah, you look super calm right now. Like That's I don't. I never had That's complete zen right there. Have you ever won anything no. in your life? Like, oh, no, I won a girlfriend, but like, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, what what a day. What a fun day. That was, that was awesome. Always a great time coming out here to Micro Center. Thanks again to those guys for having me out. And huge congrats again to Adrian for winning that PC. Hope you enjoy it, man. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next video.